Darren Moore's first home game in charge of Huddersfield comes here against a familiar rival in Ipswich Town. Kieran McKenna's side beat his Sheffield Wednesday team to automatic promotion last season. And since then, well, they haven't really looked back. His seven championship wins in eight since their return to the championship. Harry Hutchinson in from the start today. And Sorba Thomas comes in for Darren Moore's side. Ipswich have certainly been in the goals of late. The joint top scorers in the championship looking to find their way forward on the left-hand side. No way through for Leif Davis. And they'll try on the opposite side. Here is Burns. Burns to deliver. Plenty waiting. Hutchinson there. Well, it didn't quite reach Hutchinson. It was Hurst who managed to get to the header. Straight into the arms of Lee Nichols, though. Two two, the two times that Darren Moore met Ipswich last season with Sheffield Wednesday. He knows all about frustrating them. Pushing high here, trying to win the ball. Evans able to get the ball away from danger. Will come straight back though here for Huddersfield, who force their way up into the area to force Lackey into a brilliant stop. Well, they've done well to smuggle that one away here. Plenty of attacking talent within the lineup here. And they're going to have to work hard to beat Halaki if he's going to be in this kind of form. Oh, look at the blue and white shirts here streaming forward up into the penalty area. There's the cross, and somehow it stays out. Still alive for a big chance and a big save. Well, Ipswich might be wondering how they're not behind. They've got more work to do here at the back. And they do manage to get back and make the save. Lackey has started the game in brilliant form here. And it's lucky for the Ipswich defence that he has. Wicked ball into the area. One that they couldn't turn goalwards, but it's the save that comes afterwards that's really impressive. Here is Hurst. And now it's Hutchinson who marches away. The Chelsea Loney brought down in the area. And the referee has a long, hard look. And then things bubble over ever so slightly here. Well, it's Burns who gets involved. Not so happy, I don't think, with the challenge that came in on Amari Hutchinson here, who felt that he should have had a penalty. Sorba Thomas recovered. Uh, that was the moment that uh, forced Wes Burns to race across the field. And as a result, a yellow card for both players. Well, Kieran McKenna, one of the brightest young managers outside of the Premier League, hasn't been able to force Huddersfield into any kind of mistake just yet. They've looked the better of the two teams, in truth. And Huddersfield on the attack again. While well, Bergsorg forces the stop from Haki. Who has to push that one around the post. Lovely turn here. And a brilliant stop. Huddersfield press continues to cause problems. Hackey's clearance is easily picked up. Referee happy with the challenge. And now the breakaway, which is led on the left-hand side here by Hurst. As Burns arriving, he's going to go on his own. Reflection on the effort, takes the ball into the side netting. They certainly had options in the middle. 
Scored last week in good form, fancied his chances. Not the best clearance away by Thlaki. Kind of Chaplin scrapping to win it back. Well, he did well. They have run into a spot of bother though here. And Huddersfield through Karoma, looked to go for goal. Well, it looked destined to find that far corner. But again, it's Vaclef Hackney who manages to step across and make another brilliant save. Bergsorg here making the run. Darts in field, goes for goal. And scores quite brilliantly here. With an hour gone, it's Huddersfield Town who take the lead in the rain. And in truth, the goal has been coming. That key is finally beaten. Darren Moore's first home game in charge. Things have looked pretty good here. It's been a vast improvement. And how about this for a strike? One-on-one -on -one with the defender here. Darts in field, maybe shouldn't have been allowed to get the shot away, but he does. And once he's into this position, what a fine hit. Ipswich are going to have to try and find an answer here. Huddersfield backing off. As the away side break down the right-hand side, it's Harness who gets free of the defence, and this could well be, well, it could have been the chance for the equalising goal. It just didn't quite drop, but it was a brilliant response instantly from Ipswich Town. Room on the right for Huddersfield to break forward. Here's the cross, delivered by Sorba Thomas. A fabulous ball into the front post. And Jack Radoni will feel that perhaps he should have scored from here. What a fabulous stop by the goalkeeper, Halaki. Made a few of those here this afternoon. Hutchinson on the right, has Harness there in support. This is where he loves to be, cuts in field, gets the shot away. What a stop, Lee Nichols. Well, Freddie Ladapo thought this was hitting the back of the net here. And so did half the stadium. Hutchinson sees the cross turned away. Ipswich fighting hard to win it back quickly. Hutchinson again, heads to the byline, lifts one in. The Dapo can't get there. Brandon Williams can though. His first Ipswich goal. And how important could that be for them here? They may just have snatched the points with three minutes to go. Fabulous work by Amari Hutchinson to cause the issues inside the penalty area. Been a very good afternoon for him. And then arriving late, the quickest to react, the diving Brandon Williams. Huddersfield fans here calling for the whistle. Switch fighting here right to the bitter ends, but there goes the whistle. They managed to fight back here in Switch Town to secure a point. Well, Bergsorg must have felt that he scored the winning goal, but then Brandon Williams stepped up. The late show from Ipswich Town. Kieran McKenna's side maintaining their 
unbeaten run. His first home game in charge. Darren Moore securing a solid point. Huddersfield Town 1, Ipswich Town 1.